and we're going to be making a placemat so it's called a star flower placemat and let's do this professional cast on and I'm putting the link on the instructions so you remember how that is done but very quick I'll remind you you make your slip knot and make about four or five stitches more than you need so I need 36 stitches on my needle and I made about 40 chains and so once you have your chains you you cut your yarn and make a knot there so you remember that that's the edge that you need to start with and then pick up the back bumps right there so let me get some yarn so you pick up the back bumps of your chain like right there and there and so like that you have your stitches on your needle and then after you pick up all your stitches which will be 36 then the first row after picking up is all knit so let's make believe that I already knitted the first row and what I'm going to do and this would be row number one I'm going to knit 10 stitches 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 yarn over and then I am going to knit until I have three left so that would be 23 stitches so let's do that this is a lot of fun to make so once you have three stitches left on your left hand needle there we go I have my three stitches left and I am going to turn my work and knit these stitches back and this is would be row number two and that would be knit 34 stitches back so I'll see you in a minute I wrote a cheat sheet so you can follow so for example row number one I knitted 10 and then yarn over and knitted 23 so I have three stitches left I turn and then row number two on the way back I knit 34 and so on for example row number 11 I knit 10 yarn over knit 13 and I have 18 stitches left I turn and I knit 24 until you have row number 20 let's say 19 I knit 10 yarn over knit 5 and you have 30 stitches left you turn and then you knit 16 and then after doing those 20 rows on row number 21 you're going to bind off 10 stitches and then knit the rest of the row and let's do that so now I'm on row number 21 
And what I want to do here is that I want to bind off 10 stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oops, that's what happened, nine, and ten. And once I finish the ten, knit all the stitches make sure to use even tension because you're going to find a gap every three stitches so like that it is all of these gaps close and then on the way back you knit the 36 stitches and then you start from row number one so I have 16 of my triangles made and the last row was number 21 which is where I bind off 10 stitches and then knit to the end of the row and I'm going to leave those stitches there because what I want to do is that I want to come where the professional cast on is and I see where I have my knot because that's where I need to take my stitches off so I'm going to cut that and start unraveling and then I can pick up my stitches from there so let's see that's one Okay, little by little because there's no hurry here. Okay, one and two, three, and start unraveling and put your stitches on your needle. Let me put this a little bit closer so you can see. So take off, take off, put your stitches on your needle all the way to the end. From back to front so they don't get twisted. Pick up and I'll see you when I finish this. So I have all my stitches on my needle now. And I am going to put the two needles together like so. We're going to do a three needle bind off and I'm going to take my working yarn. There it is. Make sure you have the working yarn with you. So let me get that out of the way. And you're going to pick up one stitch from the front, one stitch from the back and knit them together. Take them off your needles and then again one from the front and one from the back and you knit them together and then bind off. Oops, okay. And now again one from the front, one from the back, knit them together, take them off your needle, bind off. Again, one from the front, one from the back, knit them together, take them off your needles and bind off. One more, one from the front, one from the back, knit them together, take them off your needles and bind off. And I'll see you when I finish this row. Okay, so I'm done with my three needle bind off. I cut my yarn and I pass it through the last loop and I'll weave that end in a bit. Now let's look at the center and I have my center yarn there 
And what I want to do here is that I want to pick up all those little knots like right there and that one there so I want to pick up all those little ones 16 of them and I'll see you when I pick them up so one by one like right there Okay, so once I pass the yarn, I pull up at my tail and pass it to the other side. Let me see. Okay, and there it is. See how pretty that looks. Thank you for watching. Please share us with your friends and like our page and subscribe. And I'll take some pictures and post them. Thank you.